What's up guys and welcome back to another video where I say words in you, the magically delicious listen. It is I, your crazy Nicolas Cage, your steward of Gundor, your genius, billionaire playboy, basic YouTuber philanthropist, Supercliff. And would you kindly hit that like and subscribe button for every little bit helps and it's majestic, powerful, epic YouTube world. Okay guys, so today I'm gonna try something a little different. Dip my toes in the cold water, if you will. So check it, because the other night I was on Comixology browsing about, you know, the site always has sales. And I saw that Comixology was having a sale for Chang Chi comics. And I thought to myself, oh, that's really cool. It makes sense because, you know, he's got a movie coming out in September. But I also thought to myself saying, wait a minute, what Chang Chi comics specifically? Because here's the thing, with regards to the new Chang-Chi trailer from a couple weeks back, which by the way, was dope as hell. It got me hyped up 100. <laughs> but with regards to that, a lot of the common discussion I've been hearing lately uh, on the internet and just with friends in general is, this movie looks dope as hell, it looks really cool, but who is he? Who's Chang-Chi? Uh, where's Iron Fist? Is this guy Iron Fist? What's the deal? So hold up guys, because to all the people who are saying, where's Netflix's Iron Fist? Sit down. <laughs> I can guarantee you all the blood from my body. I'll even add in my social security number as well. That the MCU, Kevin Feige and his team will never in a million years walk within 10 feet of that whatever the hell that was on Netflix. It's just that thing's gone. It is done for. Anyways, so when I saw that Comixology was having a sale for Chang-Chi, though I was excited and glad for the character, I was also saying to myself, like, which comics? Is it Chang-Chi comics or is it like other people's comics with Chang-Chi in them? And not that I'm complaining, but as a whole, the character Chang-Chi, he doesn't really have that many comic book series to himself. When compared to characters like Iron Man, the Guardians of the Galaxy, or even Black Panther. And yeah, like Chang-Chi, he's been part of all the universe for some time now, since 1973. But the only long run series the character has had that's really well known when it comes to Chang-Chi is 1974's through 1983's Master of Kung Fu which lasted about, I, I think it's 109 issues. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. And yeah, sure, Chang Chi has also been part of many superhero teams throughout the years, and he's had a couple of miniseries here and there, and some one-shots, but at the end of the day, there's not really a current long-running series like a Jonathan Hickman Fantastic Four, or whether you like him or not, Dan Slott Spider-Man. There isn't a current now series to say, oh, you want to read Chang Chi? Read this guy's series. It was made like five years ago. There's none of that. And so that's what this video is going to be about. Me telling you, the people listening on the other end, the top five must read Chang Chi comics in order to help you guys get much more situated when it comes to this new ongoing series hitting shelves Wednesday and or if you just want to prep up for the movie so you don't have to read a bunch of comics to see which one are the best because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to provide you guys with the go-to Chang Chi comics that you must read. And now, without further ado, let's get those Kung Fu muscles ready and break some shit. <laughs> Starting off with Special Marvel Edition, issue number 15, written by Jim Starlin and Steve Englehart, with the art drawn by Jim Starlin himself. Now, back in the day, whenever Marvel wanted to create a new hero, they introduced a said character and a spotlight comic such as Special Marvel. Now, in truth, this issue isn't the best, but I would say that it deserves to be in the top five Chang-Chi comics that one must read. And it's definitely one of the most important Chang-Chi comics. As clearly it's an origin story for the character and it introduces Chang Chi as a whole, him being a pawn and a trained assassin taught by his father Fu Manchu, who would later be renamed to Jiang Zhu, but that's later on and I'll get to that in a bit. But just keep in mind, a lot of this shit, it doesn't stand well today. <laughs> it's not, it's not the same. And at that time, Marvel wasn't really aware of social cues. Christ, the color on the skin was so yellow. But if you're keeping an open mind while reading this one issue, you can definitely see the potential of the story itself minus the Asian stereotypes and just, just the, about everything that's happening there. But overall, I would say this is a prime issue that you must read. It does give you the first appearance and origin story of Chang Chi. It allows you to, as a reader, to get a sense of who he's about and just how much of a badass he is. Just keep in mind while you're reading this that the presentation of the story is not how it is anymore. So just keep that in mind. Moving on, we got Master of Kung Fu. And this series is the main ongoing series that was given to Chang-Chi through the mid-70s and in the early 80s. 
And same thing as before with the Marvel Special Edition, it doesn't stand technically when it comes to representation and just stereotypical viewing points. However, I will say that this issue does provide a sense of a sense of romance to Kung Fu, and it does provide a spy thrilling aspect to the series because in the Master of Kung Fu, Chang Chi, like it follows him escaping his father's fathery clutches. And you see Chang Chi traveling around the world using his perf perfected martial arts to basically make his father's organization a living hell. And although I don't have a specific issue for the series, I think any issue works. And so if you're interested in the history of Chang Chi and you want to get like a, a sense of where he's from and how he operated during that time, then definitely check out the series. And like I said, there's no specific issue that you should probably check out, but any issue I think would suffice. There is that aspect of romanticism towards Kung Fu and a lot of the uh, and a lot of the characters introduced in the series will definitely be present within the new Chang Chi movie, such as Death Dealer and Razor Fist and possibly Lu Kui Wu, the MI6 agent that Chang uh, typically works for or works with. Next, we have Secret Avengers, issues 6 through 10, written by Ed Brubaker, with the art by Mike by Mike Dodato. And this series, or this story arc, it's more of an update to Chang Chi's father. Now, when it comes to the character of Fu Manchu, Chang Chi's father in the series, that's not his name anymore. <laughs> they, they, they sort of had that right back then. But as people kind of, I would say, in society got smarter, they realized, oh, this guy is clearly a Asian stereotypical uh, depiction of Asian bad guys. And that's not accurate at all. So let's not have that guy be, you know, so yeah. So Marvel was like, all right, let's approach Chang Chi without an offensive backstory. And so this series really gave Chang Chi a more modern take of the character's background. And in this issue, Fu Manchu is no longer called that as it was more of an alias back in the day, his real name being Zhang Zhu. Overall, this is a really good story for Chang Chi. Obviously, that, that espionage vibe with Chang Chi, him working alongside Captain America, Agent 13, Black Widow, and yeah. Next, we have Avengers, issue number 11, written by Jonathan Hickman, with the art by Mike Dodato. Now, later on in, in Marvel Comics, Chang would be invited by Captain America and Iron Man to join the Avengers. And if you guys know Jonathan Hickman, he's a pretty good writer. <laughs> he's pretty popular. This was like definitely a great stepping point for Chang Chi to get more eyes on his character, especially being on a big A-list team such as the Avengers, which around this time was when the first Avengers movie came out. So Avengers at that time was really hot. <laughs> and within comics, a lot of the characters who you wouldn't typically think as being a part of the team were. And though Chang Chi was seen and shown throughout the entire Hickman Avengers series, issue number 11 really highlights and showcases Chang Chi's effectiveness as a member on the Avengers roster. And so in this issue, Chang and a group of much grounded Avengers heroes, such as Black Widow, etc., infiltrate a casino in Hong Kong after learning that, that AIM plans to sell one of their latest bioweapons. And so basically this issue is badass. Chang Chi ends up battling some crazy ninja with, um, with amazing looking armor. And there's also this moment once Chang realizes he's he's completely outnumbered just by the amount of AIM agents who are just converging on his location. The dude takes out his energized pair of nunchucks, courtesy of Tony Stark, and starts going ham on everyone. And it's amazing. It's so definitely a must read story for Chang Chi. And now we have our final one. And this is the most recent Chang Chi story arc, which is written by Jean Lun Yang and drawn by Dyke Ron and Philip Tan. And that's 2020's Chang Chi miniseries, issues one through five. And this series is definitely an update version and a change or like a reminder of the status quo of Chang Chi. And the series focuses on Chang Chi's life following the death of his father, Shang Zhu, and just how he lives a peaceful, quiet, everyday life in San Francisco Chinatown. But the, the memories of his father, the multiple different organizations that work for Shang Tzu. They're definitely haunting Chang Chi once more, and, and I definitely see the movie taking cues from this series. And I would say that if you're interested in Chang Chi right now, definitely check out this series. And if you like it, then Jin Lu Yang will continue Chang Chi in the upcoming ongoing series that starts this Wednesday. Yeah, there it is, guys. Those are my top five uh, must read Chang Chi stories, or at least the top five that you should probably read if you are interested in the character and you want to know more before dipping yourselves into Marvel as they start milking the Chang Chi comics left and right. So, yeah, uh, that's it for this video. But, yeah, tell me guys, what do you guys think about Chang Chi? Are you excited to read more Chang Chi? Are you excited for Marvel to bring back more of Chang Chi comics? Jot down your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you like what you see, slash here. Just like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, 
And until next time, peace. Kisses.